the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Well, hello. I'm the Reverend Canon Lance Smith from Church of the Ascension in Windsor and host of the Sunday morning devotional program, Reflection. This coming week on the fifth Sunday following the Feast of Pentecost, we are going to be opening up God's Word and listening to the continuing story of the family of Abraham. We will be looking at the journey taken by his servant Eleazar as he goes off to Abraham's homeland seeking a wife for his son Isaac. And so we'll hear about that story. We will hear about Rebecca's response to the invitation that she is given, an invitation that will bring her into the unfolding plan that God had for all of his children. After having spent some time in the book of Genesis with that story, we will return to the epistle to the Romans, where St. Paul continues his teachings to the Roman church and to us about the nature and the relationship that exists between sin and grace. The particular passage that we will be looking at, St. Paul is going to use himself as an example and he's going to talk about how it is that he does not do what he wants to do and what it is that he doesn't want to do, he does. And so by using himself as an example, he helps us to understand the conflict and the difficulties that we have in resisting temptation and not falling into sin. We'll then return to Matthew's Gospel as Jesus continues to teach his disciples about the kingdom of God. Specifically, Jesus will address how it is that people often can find ways to dismiss the proclamation of God's kingdom. It's very true in our own day and age that people will often find ways to not embrace the good news which has been placed before them. Jesus will talk about how one person did it one way and how he did it in another, and yet people still found ways to criticize both for their opposite approaches. We'll consider how it is that we don't give ourselves fully over to the Lord, and we'll also give consideration to those comfortable words where Jesus invites us to bring all of our cares and our concerns to Him, to lay them at His feet, remembering that He is the one who has removed the burden of sin from our lives. We, of course, will also lift up in prayer the church, those who are in need of God's healing grace, as well as ourselves, praying that the Lord God will lead us forward in helping us to answer the call, being disciples of Christ in the midst of the world. I hope that you'll be able to join me this coming Sunday at 10.30 a.m. and 3 p.m. as we explore what it means to be Christians in the midst of the modern world. I hope to see you then, and may God give you a good week. Thank you.